Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to optimize website for mobile WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, to optimize a website in WordPress for the mobile, I have installed the Elementor. So if you don't know how to install the Elementor, you're gonna go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here you will simply write down Elementor. And the theme that I'm using here is actually the Astro theme. So for that, we're gonna go inside the themes. And you can see here, we are actually using the Astro theme here. But if you don't know how to install this, it's pretty simple. Let's just click on add new theme. And here, what you have to do, you just have to write down Astro. Okay, now you'll be able to see the Astro theme at the top of the search. Since we have already installed and activated this, that is why you are actually seeing the option of activate it. Otherwise, you'll be able to see the option of install just like this. So now what we have to do, we're going to go inside the pages and I have created this page, the home page, and this is not optimized for the mobile screen. So we're going to learn how to optimize the website or the web page in WordPress using Elementor. So let's click on edit with Elementor. All right. So as you can see here, we have already created a web page here and you can see this, we have this design. But there is the one issue with this design is that it is not optimized for the mobile. Okay. As you can see here, we are having the issues here with the heading. And after that, you can see this. We are having with the font size and the image size and also uh, these things. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to optimize this for the mobile screen. So how can we do this? It's pretty simple. Uh, so if you just click back on the desktop, it is optimized for the desktop. So we don't have to do anything for that. Now we have to optimize this for the mobile version and also the tablet portrait version. Okay. So let's click on the mobile portrait. The first thing that I have to do is decrease the size of our heading. So let's just go here with maybe H4 or we can go here with the H3. And what else we can do? We can go inside the style here. I'm going to go inside the advanced setting. And here you can see this. I have added the pairing here. Okay, so we're going to change the value here. So this will be almost 10 px from the left and the 10 px from the right. Now this is looking better. And on the button, I think this is looking fine. We don't have to do anything on the button here. But what we have to do is to decrease the size of this container. So let's click on this container. And let me just also enable the navigator. Okay. And here what we have to do in our main container, which is this one, the second one here. I actually have to change the size of the height for the mobile version. So I think this is looking good. Yeah, this is looking better. Uh, let's just go here with 50. Similarly, what we can do, uh, we will actually optimize the second section. Okay. So in the second section, the first thing that I have to do is actually to decrease the padding here. So I'm going to go here with maybe 20 px. I think that would be enough or yeah, we can go here with the 20 px. And after that, we have this text here. So I think this text is looking fine, but we can decrease the size of our heading here. So let's go here with the H3 or maybe the H4. So I think I'm going to go here with the H3 and then we have to go inside the style and let's just change the size here. Okay, so this is looking better. And let's see if we do have any padding. No, we don't have any padding here. And what we can do here on our divider. We're going to change the width of it. Okay, so this is looking better. And similarly, we have this weight. I think the weight is fine here. We have the advanced setting. Okay, so I think we have the space here on this one. So after this, what we have to do, we actually have, okay, one thing that we can do here on our first text. I think I would need to add some padding onto this from the left and the right. So let's just add the value from the left and the right as well. So I think I would go here with the 20 px maybe. All right. So I think now this is looking better. We are having the pairing of the 60 px from the left side and also on the right side. Okay. And now what we have to do, we actually have to decrease the size of our image here. Okay. So for that, what we have to do, we're going to go inside the style here and let's just change the width of it. I think this would look better on the mobile. All right. I think it is 70%. Yeah, this is looking better. All right, so now this is looking better. And what else we have to do? We actually have to put the text into the center. 
similarly our paragraph here and in the paragraph we will need to decrease the size of it a bit perfect i think this is looking better and also the size of this one so i'm going to go here into the typography here is it this is 25 so i have to give this heading 25 as well but i think this is already 25 now so we're gonna change this to the 25 now this is looking better and we're gonna do the same thing for the other image as well so i'm gonna simply copy this and i'll simply paste the style here and also for our heading copy this paste the style here and also for our paragraph copy this and change this here perfect and also on the third one copy this and let's just put this here and now we have one more thing which is the image paste the style here now this is looking better now you can see this our design is looking way more better than before okay and now what we have to do we have to resize the things here okay so the image size is looking fine so we don't have to do anything on this and this is this one is also looking fine okay so what can we do here is actually decrease the size of this heading so for that we can actually go into the style let's just go into the typography and let's just go here with the 20 px or maybe we can go here with let's say i think this is looking fine this is looking yeah this is looking better and also we're gonna change the size of our button so here what we have to do i think i would actually need to go inside the advanced settings and in that width i'm gonna give it a percentage here first let's just go here with the 70 percent all right so this is looking fine or we can go here with the 80 let's just go here with the 70 and what else we can do here would we'll actually go inside into the style and here what we can do here we can actually decrease the size of the font here so let's just go here with 16 i think we can go here with the 14 as well yeah this is looking better and here we're going to click on our main container and let's just align the items into the center now this is looking good all right so now we have to decrease the height of it so for that i'm going to go inside the advanced settings because i know that i have added the padding here so in the padding on the left side and on the right side it will be the same values but we're gonna change the value from the top and the bottom so let's add the 30 px on the bottom and the 30 px on the top okay so this is looking better or we can add five more px here all right so this is enough and in the last we have this section okay okay so in this section we actually have the two options either we can decrease the size of the image and also these titles and the second option is that we can hide out these sections just on the mobile screens okay so whenever you have a kind of a structure that is a two column structure and on the one side you are having the detail and on the other side you are having the image so what you can do here on such scenario you can actually hide out the image size because on the mobile screen it won't look good a lot if we have this titles and after that we have this thing so probably what we can do here on our section we're gonna hide this out so i'm gonna go here into our section okay so this section has the image and all of these headings so i'm gonna go inside the advanced settings and here we're gonna go inside the responsive and i will hide this on the mobile portrait only on the mobile portrait okay and one more thing I'm gonna go into our main container. Since we are hiding this out, I will need to change the spacing here. So as you can see here, that we are having a kind of, we had the 100 px here, but I'm gonna go here with the 50 px, and we will have the 20 px on the left side, and we're gonna also have 20 px on the right, on the left side. Sorry, first one was the right side, and the second one is the left. And on the bottom, we can go here with the 30 or 50 maybe. So let's go here with the 30. All right, so I think I can go here with 30 as well in the top. That will look better. Okay, so now you can see here, we are having our heading. So heading is looking fine, but still we can decrease the size of it if you want. And also to our text. So in the text, we're gonna go here with the same size, just like this one. So I think this is actually the 15px or something, yeah. So let's just go here 
I'll simply copy the style from here and paste the style here and also on the second one also on the third one and also on this one and we also have one more so let's just paste the style here okay so we have to do one thing here that would be actually putting this to the left side so let's just do this really quickly on every paragraph here all right so on the first one what i can do i think i would go here with the h2 here and that was looking better okay so let's go here with maybe the style again and let's just add the value here so let's just go back here and go for the s3 yes okay so we're gonna go back again here so let's just settle the value here so here i'm gonna go here with let's say we're gonna go here with 23 so now we have the buttons here so for the buttons i would only put this into the center here we have to justify the content here now this is looking better and after that we have to do we have to do the optimization here so let's just change the size here so let's go here with the 30 and we can go here with the 40 maybe but i think the 30 yeah 35 is looking fine similarly we're gonna go here into the style on our second heading this will be probably 12 or maybe we can go here with 18 yeah, we can go here with the editing and we can do one thing here we have to go inside the advanced settings in the padding we can add some padding on the left side and also on the right side perfect so let's just add something more here so let's go here with the 30 px all right so now this is looking better all right so we settled for actually 40 px here and after that we have this button which is looking fine and what we can do we can actually change the size of our container so let's just change the size of it maybe maybe to the this one maybe to the this size okay this is looking better now you can see here that our website is optimized for the mobile screen and this is looking really good here okay so what we can do here we're going to do the same thing for the tablet version as well so in the tablet version it is already being optimized somehow okay so we're going to decrease the size here a bit here so let's just go here with let's say 50 and we're going to change the value here so this will be probably let's say 20 maybe yeah this is looking better and the button is looking fine and in here yeah we have to adjust this part so what we can do here actually we can actually decrease the size of our heading here so we're going to go into the style so on the first heading let's just go here with the 20 or maybe the 24 and after that we're going to decrease the size here so let's say this would be 16 or 18 yeah 18 would look fine let's just copy the style from here put it on the second one put it on the third one put it on the last one and we're going to also change the size here of our button so let's just go here into the text size first let's just decrease the size of it all right so the 15 is looking better and we're gonna do the same thing on the second one as well okay so let's click on the second one now change the value here so this will be 15 as well all right so i have decreased the size of our button text okay one thing that i can do here is actually decrease the gap between our elements so we're going to click on our main container and we can change the gap here so i would actually change this to let's say 10 px or we can go here with let's say 15 okay so now this is looking better so you can see here the first section and the second section is actually matching on the height okay so now this is looking better and we can do is to decrease the size here from the top so let's just go here with the 60 and we'll change the size here also on the right side also on the left side and i think this is looking better now and we can also decrease the size from the bottom to the 30 maybe yeah this is looking better and let's just also go here with 30 here okay this is looking perfect all right so this section is also looking fine so we don't have to do anything here but we have to do one thing on this section here okay we can decrease the size here so let's just go here with the i guess we're gonna go here with the heading so this will be probably 24 
let's just copy this and change this here and paste the style here again all right so i think the paragraph size is looking fine we don't have to do any changes here okay so what we can do here is to add some spacing here onto our main container so let's just add the padding on to the left and the right side so let's just add 30 peaks here and also the 30 peaks here this is looking better and we can add some space on the bottom as well yeah this is looking fine and now we have the heading here so we can decrease the heading a little bit so let's go here the 40 yeah this is looking fine and we can add some space or remove some space from the top so let's just add the 40 from the top now this is looking fine and here what we have to do let's just increase the size of our heading so this will be probably let's say 40 now this is looking fine and we have to go into the advanced settings let's just change the padding here so this will be actually i think 20 from there and 20 from the left side as well now this is looking good and also we're gonna change the height here of our main container so this will be i guess yeah this one this is looking good we can go here with the 50. now this is looking perfect so now let's just publish this now you can see here that our design is actually optimized for our mobile screen so you can see here this is looking better and we can do one thing here i think i would go here with so let's just go down and i'm gonna simply copy the height value from here and put it there now this is looking better here and now let's just publish this again and let's click on preview changes here and now we will be able to see our website optimized for the mobile so let's click on here into the spec and in the spec what we can do here actually change the size here so let's click on any mobile screen sizes now you can see this this is looking good all right so if i go here with any other value here with this one this is looking good one thing that we can do here is to add some height again because i think that is what is needed here so let's just go here into our main section and let's just add some height here around 75 now let's just publish this again and now you'll be able to see this is looking better okay so we are having the responsive header as well so since we are using the astro theme and the elementor we're gonna get the responsive navigation menu as well so as you can see here we're actually getting the responsive navigation menu and even our footer is also responsive okay so if i go back to the tablet size here so let's go here with the ipad pro you can see here this is looking fine the design on the ipad pro the tablet screen is looking good so yeah if i click on the ipad mini here you can see this this is how it is looking and we can again add some spacing here on here so let's just add some spacing at the top increase the value to let's say 70 here or to the 75 we're gonna change the value here of the heading so this will be 40 publish this again now this will look better now if i just go back into the mobile screen you will be able to see that we have made our website optimized for the mobile so this is how you can do this so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel